I've had many, many requests from people online to uh, have me give them instructions on how to decapsulate uh, brine shrimp eggs. I I purchased mine from Brine Shrimp Direct. I buy it by the pound. Uh, a pound will last you a long time. And depending on what you're doing, I a lot of people say, well, why don't you just buy them already decapsulated? If you buy them already decapsulated, they won't hatch. Whereas if you buy them in their cyst form and decapsulate them yourself, you can hatch them right afterwards. So I'm just going to give a quick tutorial on how to decapsulate brine shrimp eggs. Simple, once you see it done once, you're going to wonder why you didn't do it before. And there are people that ask, well, why do you decapsulate? It's a lot easier to feed if you don't have to avoid the eggshells. And the importance of avoiding the eggshells is some of the little buggers, your fry, they will develop some type of a penchant for just eating the shells and leaving the rest, the, the live baby brine shrimp, just swimming around. I don't know why they do it, but they can't digest it, and it blocks them up, and they die. So that's why I personally decapsulate. If you like fighting with the shells, you go for it. I don't like fighting with them, so I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. Start off. Any container will work. This is a two-liter bottle. Just a chunk cut out of it. A cup to make it stand up. If you're not going to do too many, you can just use a smaller version of the same thing. If you don't have access to a plastic pot bottle, you can always use an old mason jar. I used to use this one to, de to hatch my brine shrimp in. It's not a big deal. The biggest, the biggest thing you got to look out for is that you have a spot where you can put your air stone down in and it brings everything up, keeps everything in suspension because it's the act of the eggs knocking against one another along with the bleach that sloughs off the eggshell and you're left with just the sac with the embryo, embryo inside of it. Uh, and that, when you're done, you can just feed directly to your fish or you can continue on and hatch them and you'll have baby brine shrimp in 18 to 24 hours. So without further ado, start off I use about a cup of ice cold water and I say ice cold because the chemical reaction between the bleach and the eggshell is an exothermic reaction which means it creates heat so we've got to avoid overheating the eggs because we'll cook them and they will die. So we start off with about a uh, cup of water, pour that right in. I usually add a couple ice cubes. That's just to keep it cold. Then, however many eggs I want to uh, hatch at the time. Right now I don't have very many babies swimming around that need eggs, so I'll just do a couple of scoops here. And this is what the eggs look like prior to decapsulating. Oh, let's do a fourth scoop. It's very important that you keep these in the freezer after you purchase them because if you don't keep them in the freezer they're not going to live as long. Some people say, oh I watch this guy, he had some that were 30 years old. Yeah, he found them in the back of his freezer. Remember that part. You've also got to keep them dry. Now that we've got them in the fresh water, no salt added, Nothing like that. We're just trying to rehydrate the eggs. Now we take our air stone and our air line and we dump it in here and we forget about it for 40 minutes. Now, when we're done 
rehydrating them and we've decapsulated them, I just use a, dispo or a reusable coffee filter. You can use disposable ones if you want. I choose to use one with a really, really tiny, tiny mesh. You can see through it, but it's small enough that the brine shrimp eggs don't fit through it. This also comes in handy when you're feeding. I just take and I pour right through into the sink, of course, not on the floor. My wife would kill me. And then rinse them a little bit with some fresh water to get the brine off and right to the fish tank and bloop. Just that simple. And you got happy, healthy, fat little angelfish. Well, I have angelfish and guppies, so those are the ones I choose to raise to each their own. It doesn't matter what, whether you're raising zebra fish or betas. Perfect food for them. Baby brine shrimp. Uh, I'm not sponsored by anybody, but I get mine usually from brineshrimp.com or brineshrimpdirect.com. They are awesome. Just type that into your search in, your search browser, brine shrimp, brine shrimp direct.com. It'll take you right there. I might even be able to put a link in the uh, doobly-doo down below. So, if you have any questions about it, this is the cheapest batch of brine shrimp eggs they sell. Okay, it's just the culls or whatever. I'm not worried about it because I'm decapsulating them. Once these eggs are decapsulated, the fish can eat the whole thing. You don't have to worry about you getting caught in their guts or anything like that. They can eat it. So if it doesn't hatch, you're still getting 100% feed. And you don't have to worry about separating out the unhatched eggs and the floating eggs and everything. You don't have to worry about any of that. You just feed your 